Hi guys, Hannah K here, and I'm here with Teach Me Renme. And let's continue. I'm just gonna jump straight into it, man. <clears throat> straight into it. So pumped. <laughs> you pumped? I'm fucking pumped. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> December 27, 2 11 p.m. Writing Colo Officers. Was that good? Was yes. That good. What well, was Mr. Your Boyfriend talking about? I don't understand. The memory of a crime that I committed. The memory of a murder. Dun dun dun. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think Mr. Edgeworth killed? Uh, I don't believe it. Not my boyfriend. Some painful memory has been troubling recently. But he never takes someone's life. Never! Nick. Okay, uh, <laughs> Yo, how's everyone doing? What do you think of my performance today? I had him swooning in the air. Oh my god. Isles. Isles. <laughs> oh my god. Swooning? Me? <laughs> oh. Oh yes, I do remember feeling faint. Right on, tell me that too. It was like love at first sight, right? Right, Nick? Huh, me? <laughs> I, uh, well, maybe my heart skipped a bit. <laughs> um, I think you can do better than that. Come on, I saved your boyfriend in there, dude. Edgy. You guys should be bowing before me, yeah. Bow before your hero. Okay. Never. No. Can we talk to him or something? Yes. Today's trial. Larry, <laughs> you really <laughs> helped out in the trial today. Good man. <laughs> you did. If you weren't there, Larry, I'm sure your boy, Phoenix's boyfriend, Wright's boyfriend, whatever, would have been found guilty. Ha 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 <laughs> oh my god, I can't do it. Okay, right. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but from where I was sitting, Edgy seemed pretty edgy. I mean, <laughs> can you really know he's telling the truth about that night? Okay, my voice is lost. <laughs> yeah, d don't do it then. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, I can't do it. Okay, wait. Your turn. Nick! <clears throat> I don't know. But what I do know is, I'm going to believe in you two until the end. Oh man! Oh, Stu! Your boyfriend and who else? I mean me, right? Nah, he means me. Right, Nick? Yeah, you, Larry. What? <laughs> Not me? But why didn't you, Larry? Huh? Um... Actually, yeah, why me, Nick? <laughs> hmm, enough of the silent treatment. My boyfriend! Oh. Nick, why do you trust your boyfriend so much? I mean, it's changed recently, true. But when we first met him, he was kind of a jerk, don't you think? You didn't know him back then. Back when he wanted to become a defense attorney. 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 Yeah. Wait. Was that when you two were classmates? Yes, in grade school. They saved me. Miles and Larry. They saved me and I never forget it. That's why I became a defense attorney, you know? What? Hey, hey, Larry. What's he talking about? <laughs> huh? Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I can't forget. <laughs> what? Hmm. Okay, Nick, out with it. I'm going to hear this story today, and that's final. Okay, okay. It's kind of a long story, so hang in there. 
Thank God it's not Larry telling it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It was the beginning of Spain, fourth grade. I was in trial, a class trial. A c class trial? A class trial. You remember, Larry, spring, fourth grade? A kid in my class got his lunch money stolen. Lunch money? Our school was really small. <laughs> Every month, kids would be in an envelope. Oh my god! Envelope. 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 Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> I <laughs> fall. <laughs> say, say it again. Envelope. 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 Are you sure? Envelope. Envelope with money for lunch from home. <laughs> huh, I see. Anyway. <laughs> Nay, this kid envelope disappeared with $38 still inside. Oh, funny young. <laughs> oh yeah, now that you mention it, I do remember that. I can see why you forget it though. You were out of school that day. Anyway, the <laughs> envelope had been stolen during the PE e class. PE e class. PE e class. PE e class. Come on. That stands for physical education. I was coming down with a cold, so I skipped <laughs> physical education that day. <laughs> I was the only one not in class. So they thought you did it? Yeah. The kids in class say I should be put on trial. Trial? You repeated that word like five times now, Maya. <laughs> yeah. Maya, for love of God, stop. <laughs> so the next day we held our classroom trial with me. Trial? <laughs> As the defendant. Aww. No. I. I Oh, is, am I shy now? Am <laughs> yes, I now. I didn't do it! Guilty! You did it! Guilty! It was you! Give me my money back! You're such a meanie! No one played with you! Just admit you did it! You can't hide the truth! Tell us the truth! I can't play with you anymore! Yeah, I'm not borrowing my razor! You should be allowed to relay your razor! Or in the library committee! Give me back my 50 cents alone! You hate it! I did my best! No, Phoenix! You know she. <laughs> Wait, am I this person? No, you yeah. can be. I'm it's telling me. all the other shit. <laughs> no, Phoenix, you know you shouldn't steal people's money. It's not right. Oh, no shit. <laughs> in the end, in the teacher thought I'd done it. And apologize to the class, Phoenix. Right now, shop shop. That's so cute. I, did, I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> I was so sad, I couldn't stop crying. Everyone was staring at me like i done it. I tried to apologize. I went over to where the boy was sitting. Uh, that's when it happened. You shouldn't have to apologize. I should do that in a higher voice. He shouldn't have to apologize. <laughs> the only thing that belongs in the trial is evidence. Anything else has no place. You should all be ashamed. Amateurs. Miles? <laughs> oh my god. It wasn't you who stole my money, was it? No. Then you shouldn't apologize. Everyone's been shouting you did it, but no one has any proof. That is why you argue this boy is innocent. I love it. <laughs> but Miles, it was your money that was stolen. Yeah, yeah, you did it. He's the one. We don't need proof. Make him say sorry. I have no idea. I don't know. Uh, Larry now. Or... I think it's Larry. Yeah. <laughs> I love that say, add uh, that Larry. Add <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Why don't you all just shut up? Wait, he's he's a little kid now. He's... Yeah. Okay. This is always how it is. Everybody getting up and picking on one person. Just think of he feels. How he feels. <laughs> he said he didn't do it, so he didn't do it. Aww. Very well. I will replace the money myself. This class trial is over. That's how it happened. Of <laughs> <laughs> the three of us, we're always friends. That's a great story, Grandpa. That's the worst story I've <laughs> ever heard. Wow, I had no idea you are so lame. Yeah, I had no idea either. <laughs> I mean, I forgot. 
That's when I learned what it meant to, meant 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 to be alone. Meant. Meant totally alone without a friend in the world. Oh my god. Oh my god. So sad. <laughs> you did a good thing, Larry. Um yeah, well. <laughs> 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 it was just lucky that I took the day off from school. Um, okay, if if I'd been there, they would have thought I'd done it. So I I took it kind of personally. See, when something smells, it's usually the butt. Oh! Ah! And Edward. my boyfriend. Ah! I dropped my headphone. Hang on. Okay. Oh, you don't. Yup. Anyway, <laughs> my boyfriend and I talked off their best time. Uh, uh, that was when I heard his father was a defensive to attorney. Okay. I remember his eyes would shine when he talked about his father. Oh god. <clears throat> I'm going to become a defense attorney just like my dad. A famous defense attorney. Then, a few months later, he suddenly transferred to another school. The deal 6 incident. Right. I'm not sure, but the transfer probably had to do with his father's death. That's so sad. It was several years later when I heard my boyfriend's name again. There was an article about him in the newspaper. The headline was something like, Dark suspicions of a demon attorney. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Tony. Fabricating evidence. Oh my god, <laughs> manipulating testimonies, covering up facts. What are you doing? I'm pouring up a glass of juice. <laughs> 40p, I was like, okay. <laughs> the I was like, this was a lot louder than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the article said he'd do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anyway. But why? What happened? I mean, that's not that. Yeah, I used to know it all. That's what I thought too. I tried to get in touch with him, I don't know how many times. He never replied. <laughs> I guess he didn't want to see his old friends. I couldn't just drop it though. I wanted to meet him to learn why he had become who he became. That's when I decided. <gasps> Wait, you don't mean... That's why? That's why you became a defense attorney? To meet your boyfriend? That's so cute! Okay, for <laughs> If I was a defense attorney, I knew uh, he'd have to meet me whether he wanted to or not in court. Uh, uh, my boyfriend believed in me and I believed in him. Oh my god. <laughs> He's in pain and no one's on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real my boyfriend. <laughs> I'm the only one who can help him. Whoa, Nick! So, it was... <clears throat> Is that why you helped me out for free? Uh, yes. I helped you because I believe in you. Except I don't remember saying it. I do it for free. <laughs> oh, Nick! 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 We have to say Mr. Edward... Mr. Your Boyfriend if it's the last thing we do, okay? Right. It very well may be. First, there's that rental boat shop tape. Caretaker, we need to find out who or what he is. I sell it for who? He's a vampire. <laughs> say, a bleh, bleh, say bleh. it out loud. You're a vampire bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can clean out some of this evidence. I no longer need. Mm. Okay, let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck oh, off, Larry. Are we going? We're free. Where are we going? We are going to Gord Lake entrance because Maya said we should go by the caretaker's shack. Oh, okay, I didn't listen. <laughs> you read it. <laughs> no, I oh, read okay, it. I <laughs> December 27, Gold Lake Park entrance. Oh yeah, it's Gumshoe. Oh, hey pal, long time no see. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. A close one today, eh? That's all worked up, I stand my tie in half. Um, sorry about that. No problem, pal. Thanks to you, we now know who really did it. You mean the boat shop caretaker? Uh, look, I'll make a promise. I'll have that scoundrel in my custody by trial to time tomorrow. Come what may. It's my duty to you as a police officer. Now I'm off to catch me a criminal. So long, suckers. Bye.
<laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> Damn you. It's like the gumshoe sure is active today. Oh, I thought you say attractive. <laughs> I was like, that what? Too? Maya, what? That, that too. Yeah. Oh, one other thing. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Uh, no one could go into the woods today. The woods? Where well, Lola was camping? Um, uh, the woods are off limits to camping, and uh, apparently the park ranger found out. Uh, he got pretty mad. Uh, <laughs> no one can go in for a while. I guess Lada's in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yes, Maya, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. So long, suckers. For Bye, real. Bye, Felicia. Shut up. <laughs> Are we going to the? We are going to Gold Lake Public Let's Beach. Let's go to the beach. If Larry's here too, I'm gonna be so pissed. Then he's really fast. Seven Gold Lake Public Beach. Huh? The still eyesore is missing. Eyesore. Looks like the hot dog stand is closed too. I guess Larry's been too busy with the trial to show up for work. Yeah, he That's was just Lara. at the office. Like, what do you yeah. expect? What are, what are you doing here, Larry? <laughs> Go to work. Okay, boat rental. No oh, shit, I went back to Gold Lake Entrance. I'm waiting. Thank you. December 20th. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You can't do this. <laughs> Stop this. <laughs> Stop the madness. <laughs> December 27, Boat Rental Shop. That old caretaker got away. Yep. I never imagined it might be the real murderer. Mm. Oh god. Who is this? You know who it is. No, I'm scared. It's your friend. What? What do you mean, my friend? Crossberg. Oh no! <laughs> Never goes okay, wait. Away. My dear boy. Uh huh. Mm. Uh, I know that claim of the throat anyway. <laughs> Told you. Oh, hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get it. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> wait, my boy. What might? Uh, what might you be doing here? Out for a walk? Hmm? Ah, the days of my uh, youth. Yeah. Like the sense of fresh lemon, you see. I don't know if this is his voice. Mr. Crossberg! This is no time for idle reminiscing. Mr. Wright's boyfriend's trial ends tomorrow. Uh, uh wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> My boy, that is true, yes. <laughs> but from what I. <laughs> but from what I. <laughs> What I saw on today's trial, that voice should be fine, right? Well, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> I, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> well, I'm it's not, amazing. I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, if, you <laughs> if you find anything out, come by my office at once. It may be able. I may. Fuck. I may. Fuck. I may. Fuck. <laughs> no, okay. I may be able to offer you some assistance. Thanks. Oh, that's my kind of Jeff. Bye, Felice. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> it's funny oh, because oh. that's your real name. <laughs> God. She never told you about that. No, I already know about that shit. Yeah, but you wouldn't be using it if I had brought it up. I will not use it anymore. <laughs> Thank you. If your name ever becomes a meme, I promise I'll never use it. <laughs> if it's not like a meme that is awesome, because then... Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you think... Oh, yeah, it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Mr. Grasberg was doing here anyway? Who knows? Who knows what that Oh, my God, when I say nose, I was holding on my nose. <laughs> I was actually... <laughs> Remember, <laughs> remind me to kick your ass later. I can't, it's too much to handle. December, <sighs> December 27, caretaker's shop. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> it's Paul, Paul is here. 
Yes. He has left Polly. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. It's so inconsiderate. <laughs> animal oh abuse. Animal abuse. <laughs> I should stop singing animal abuse. Yeah, it's... Shit, I accidentally pressed. You do Maya. Wait, can you do Maya's voice once? Time. Burgers! Yes. Okay, nay. No voice home. <laughs> hello! Hello! <laughs> hey, it's Polly! One way your own is gone, Polly. Hello, hello. <laughs> I can't believe he'd run off and leave his poor parrot to fend for herself. Oh my god. Hello, hello. Examine Polly. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Examine the, 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 the bird. Yeah. Are you done? Yep. Maybe I should take care of Polly, Nick. You probably, you probably should have just kidnapped her. The police know about her. I'm sure it did something. Well, okay. Sorry, Polly. He says I can't take you. Now the bird's going to hate me. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Ooh, we, can safe, we can open the safe now. We can open the safe. We can open you, is it safe though? <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass! Oh my god! We're gonna have a whole montage full of, of my bad jokes. And me saying I'm gonna kick your ass straight <laughs> yeah. afterwards. Okay. Oh shit, I almost. Mm, what's it called? Velte. Oh yeah, thank you! <laughs> oh my god! Um, that reminds me, Nick. Paul here knows the number to the safe, right? Yeah, that's right. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight! <laughs> Keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in there. Let's open it. Let's I'm open it. Sure. Let's open it, Nick. Okay, Nick. Let's see what's in there. I guess there might be a clue. Uh, the only thing in here is a letter. A letter? Ah, oh, boring. Hmm. There's no name or signature on this thing. It's handwritten in very precise, precise, yep. clear letters. Get your revenge on Miles, boy boyfriend. <laughs> my boyfriend. My boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> Nick, why would Mr. Edward's name be in there? I pressed. I don't know what I was reading. How should I know? I'm going to read the whole thing. Yeah, that's the obvious thing to do. Get your revenge on Miles, your boy, my boyfriend. Yep. It's yeah. also safe. This is your last chance. Now is your time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. Ooh. The rest of the letter goes on to describe the murder plot in detail. Oh my god. I have to kill Robert Hammond and frame my boyfriend. Calling my boyfriend out to the lake, getting on the boat, firing twice. I thought it said flirting. I was like, what? <laughs> Flirting twice. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is exactly what I figured out today in court. Oh my god, I'm so smart. <laughs> it's all here in perfect detail. What do you think it means, Nick? I don't know, but it looks like these are instructions for that caretaker. When he killed Robert Hammond and called out my boyfriend, he was following instructions. But who could have written that letter? And what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edge with your boyfriend? Look, I don't know, okay? <laughs> but one thing's for certain. This letter is an amazing clue. Added letter to the, from the safe to the court record. Okay. Uh, if you ask me, that's 
everything in here. I can't see how anything else is gonna be important. I wanna examine them the potatoes. Okay, no, I'm Are you go. sure that that's potatoes? No, I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay, we will never find out. We will never know. <laughs> they yeah. will be potatoes forever in our minds. <laughs> okay, let's move. Move. Bitch, get up the way. Okay, so maybe we go and talk to uh, Grosper? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We agree. We agree to that shit. How the fuck do we go there? Uh, do we go to detention center? Mm. Let's go to the detention center. The detention. The detention. The detention. Oh, hey, a hi, girl. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Summer twenty-seven detention center visitors oh, room. Mm -hmm. You look as grim as always. Oh my god. <laughs> um, Mr. Edgeworth, you are uh, the rice boyfriend. I heard the story about the class trial. Class trial? What do you mean? You don't remember? No, I don't. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it? In fourth grade? Lunch money? Mm. Oh, oh, right. Yes, I seem to remember something like that. Nick, I think you're the only one who really remembers. Well, it probably only really mattered to me anyway. Mr. Edgeworth, your boyfriend, didn't you know? That trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Ridiculous. Gee, thanks. That said, it does sound like the kind of thing you do. You haven't changed a bit, have you right? So simple. To a fault even. Well maybe, yeah, but I think you changed too much, my boyfriend. Mmm. Perhaps. Let's talk to him. Mmm. <laughs> Why prosecute? Mmm. <laughs> hey, my boyfriend, where did you why did you beca become oh my god uh, <laughs> prosecutor anyway? You used to look up to your dad. You say you want to be a defense attorney, right? Mm, I couldn't let myself deny reality like you. What do you mean? My father was taken from me and you want me to defend criminals? I'm sorry, right, but I'm not that good of a person. One suspect was apprehended in your father's murder, right? Yes. My man trapped in the elevator with my father. His name was Johnny Jogi. Oh my god, hi. He had to be the shooter any way you look at it. Yet, he was found innocent. The defense attorney got him off the hook. That would be <laughs> Robert Hammond. On that day, 15 years ago, and the three of us were trapped in that elevator for five hours. When we were rescued, we all suffered oxygen deprivation. deprivation. <laughs> I had lost, lost our memory of the murder. Lost your memory? Even now, I can't recall what happened in that elevator. That was the crux of Jag Jogi's attorney's argument in court. He claimed Johnny Jogi had been not of sound mind due to the oxygen deprivation. Jogi was released due to a lack of evidence. Innocent. And that's when I changed my mind. And I started to hate defense attorneys. Prosecutor von Karma. Prosecutor von Karma. What's your relationship with von Karma? <laughs> is it stable or is it like <laughs> <laughs> flexible? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> He's my teacher and a man who deserves respect. Okay. <laughs> I learn everything I know of courtroom techniques from him. So he's like my sister was to you, Nick. He is a perfectionist in all things. In court, in his personal life, he is obsessed with doing everything perfectly. 
Perfectly, huh? I will know about that. <laughs> In all of the cases he has taken on, none were left unsolved. And not one suspect was declared innocent. Ever. But... But that's... I know. It's possible some of the suspects were indeed innocent. However, it is impossible for us to accurately determine that in every case. All from Karma does is his job to find the suspect guilty perfectly. In any case, it's nigh well impossible to find a weakness in him. Should a weakness appear, he would do everything in his power to make it go away. Uh, my boyfriend? If what you're saying is true, you're headed for a guilty sentence to me. He's right! There's no time to praise the enemy, Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah, your boyfriend. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a strange situation in which I find myself, I'll admit. No kidding. Okay, I'm gonna go fuck it. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, how about we present that note we found in the safe? Maybe you know something about oh, that? Oh, to him. Okay, we can do yeah. that. Because it mentions evidence on... Yeah. Or revenge on my such <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. So. My boyfriend, see this letter? <laughs> hmm. This came out of the safe in the shack where the boat rental caretaker lives. I see. Mm -hmm. Revenge on me? Who is that old guy, anyway? I... I don't know. Should it be an innocent defendant you got declared guilty or something? Nice, no, right. But I don't remember that old man. Not at all. So he was following this letter, then? Which means there was someone else behind it. I have no idea who says that. Now it's your time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. Two men, meaning myself and Robert Halland. It also says this is your last chance. Last chance? Wait, maybe, maybe it's talking about the statue of limitations on the DLC. Oh thing. shit! I'm okay. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm. Wait. Wait, that old man. What is it? Do you know who he is? Jogi. Could it be Jogi? Jogi? We called this out for like two episodes ago. I know. <laughs> I know, right? Come on. <laughs> the suspect in the DL6 incident. The one who was found innocent. Oh my god, we have to talk to you about that. No, because... I used to gonna go. I don't. No! I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> Jesus! No! <laughs> no! <Yeah>. Go! <laughs> Johnny Jokey was a court bailiff at the time. We just happened to be in that elevator together 15 years ago. What is a bailiff? Is that a like, guard yeah, it's Yeah, it's like a guard yeah, for, okay. the, for the trial. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> mm, the quake was incredibly strong. Have you seen Judge Judy sometime? Yeah, it's the guy that stands. Yeah, that's that's a bailiff. Okay, okay. Yeah. He's cool though, yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, the quake was incredibly strong. Oh my god, I pressed. <laughs> okay. Before I knew it, everything was dark. We were there for so long, it felt like forever. The air thinned, and the darkness. I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, well, well, yeah. And the darkness <laughs> closed in on us in the little box. That was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> we became unsettled. That's not what I would call unsettled. <laughs> Help! I can't breathe! Quiet. I said quiet. Do not oh make God. this any easier. I want to get out. Help! Get us out! Don't shout, you'll just use up more oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I remember.
remember when I came to, I was in a hospital bed, staring up at the ceiling. And my father dead. Oh my god. In court, Johnny Jogi's mental condition was called into question. They claimed that oxygen deprivation and, str and stress had caused temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed the court and Jogi was found innocent. Huh, but isn't that strange? This letter tells him to get revenge on your boyfriend. Why would he want to take revenge on you? Mm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there is something that's been troubling me these last few days. I didn't know whether or not I should tell you. You mean a nightmare? I kind of figured that out already. Uh, oh, yeah. don't need a flashback. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a nightmare I've had, a memory of a crime that I committed. A crime you committed! A crime I committed! A memory of a murder. Da, da, da. Da, da. I think... I think the time has come to tell all. The nightmare! Oh, let's go. <laughs> Don't make jokes. <laughs> I fucked up again. <laughs> For the last 15 years, I had the same dream almost every night. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. What kind of dream? <laughs> it's a dream about my father's killing in the dark. Did you dream that he shot him? Help, I can't breathe. Quiet, Isaac, quiet, you're not making this any easier. I want to get out. Help, get us out. Don't shout, you just use up more oxygen. We saw this like five seconds ago. Yeah, I know. I can't breathe. You. You're using up my air. What? Stop breathing my air. I'll stop you. Ah, what? What are you? Oh. Stop breathing my air. No, father. <laughs> He's attacking father! Oh my god! Then I see the pistol lying by my feet. I don't know if it was evidence from that day in court or the bailiffs. In a day, so I pick up the pistol. And shoot! Get away! Get away from my father! Bang. Ow! Ow! And with that scream, I wake. It's a bone-chilling scream. A scream that has rung in my ears for the past 15 years. Uh, but... That's just a dream, right? Right? Mm. That thought is the only thing that has kept me sane for the last 15 years. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's real? They say that sometimes people shut out memories in self-defense. Maybe it was I who killed my father. What? And there's a guard right behind him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it that way, this middle letter makes sense. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Think about it. Joker was really innocent. And that's why he wanted revenge against me. Wait, my boyfriend, you, you mean... It was me. I was the true criminal of DL6. I shot my father. This is bad. <laughs> but no shit. <laughs> what are we gonna do, Nick? What can we do? I don't know. I don't think there's anything we can do. Like, like it or not. If there's someone else who knows a lot about the DL6 incident, maybe. Oh Prosper! no. Oh no. <laughs> there is, Nick. There is someone else who knows about DL6. Hey, Cody Bay, though. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description so you can check out my friend, Teach Me to Animate. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye!